you're going to need a pool noodle. Uh, for the for all three projects, I well, I for the demo one for the pro, uh, you know, uh, anyways, you need three. But for one set, you're going to need one candle. You're going to need a charger plate. And for this particular project, you're going to need um, duct tape. I'm doing kind of like a Beetlejuice themed one. Um, and then these are the colors I'm going to use. And so um, you're going to need some rubber bands. You're going to need these kind of lights. Um, you can choose a different kind of light. But I would prefer, you know, it's better to use a smaller one. It's 12 of them on Timu, I think, for six, six bucks or something. So you're going to get one of those. Uh, and you're going to need a, a razor, a box cutter kind of situation. Um, because the holes on the pool noodle are not the same as the size here. And the other kinds, they are too big. And then the candle's going to fall through it. You're going to need some wax sticks. And um, you're going to need a hot glue gun and like spray paint. This is the colors and the theme that I'm doing for this one. If you want to do a Halloween one that's a little different, choose whatever colors you want. Uh, but, you know, for this I'm trying to do a little bit of a Beetlejuice theme. And so this, uh, you're also going to need some parch paper. So, um, so let's get started on cutting the pool noodle into the right size. And then we'll go further. A prototype that we experimented and did all kinds of things with so we can see exactly how things go. Um, we tried different glues, different paints and sprays that didn't work. Um, this is the idea for the drip that's going to be on this to make it look more like candles. And um, there's, there's the charger plate. So, and there's the, the parch paper, which you, you will need that just to color your tubes. So we're not gonna use all anything that's on this. This is all just for experimental purposes only until we can find out exactly how this works. You're gonna get your pool noodle. Let me pull you like this. And you're gonna cut it in four different sizes and you're gonna slantly cut it. With a good old kitchen knife so that it looks like this, okay? Then you're gonna cut the next piece straight because you don't want two slanted sides, right? And you're gonna put them next together and you're gonna want them to be about the same length. Uh, um, no, you want one to be a little bit longer. A little bit longer. So you're gonna cut that straight. So then they're like this, the two different lengths. So now we're gonna go on to the next one cut that one slanted again. We're gonna take the longer one so we can use it as a comparison. And we're gonna cut this. Oh, well, I could actually get five into this one. But I'm not, I'm only gonna use four. So, and then we're gonna take this last piece and we're gonna make that longer. And we're gonna cut that straight across. So all we have left basically is this one little piece. So this, when they're all together, it's going to look like, that, now that's the hardest part is putting them together after you put your wax on. And now we're going to work on putting the wax on. Wax on, wax off. Okay, so now that we have the holes in on all of them, here's one thing to notice. If you just do like the top part, you can you don't have to do the whole round part. So marking is basically unnecessary. You just go at the top part and it does not have to be even or anything. You just have to be able to squeeze your candle in. And I, I think this is the perfect size for it to be like this. It does not have to be perfect because uh, in all actuality, it's not supposed to look perfect, but now we're going for the waxing. So I am going to use underneath it, this charger plate that was from the prototype, which is sitting over there. And I got this glue gun and the sticks, um, this crafter square from Dollar Tree. Um, 
it's already getting nice and hot. You just put your stick and you shove it in there and then, you know. Um, and it was, this was still when everything was a dollar, so it was two fourteen. And um, I don't see them all the, I do, I do see the sticks quite a lot over there, but I don't see the guns over there quite often. But we're gonna do this today and I hope this works out and I can use it again for the other two projects because it's, if it's a little skanky, I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to melt the sticks over it and I really don't wanna do that. So um, I'll be right back. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. And then we're gonna make the drip go all the way over each of these candles to give it a nice effect. So give me just a second. Well, I came back just to find that it was already oozing out. So we're gonna go ahead and start. We are just going to, Ugh, this is a mess. So I'm just going to keep it pressed because this looks like really shitty. But you have to keep kind of pressing. Oh, okay. You got to just get the gist of it, I guess. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go around. If, if you're one of those people who have a real good hot glue gun and it's not a fortune, uh, hit me up. Hit me up. Let me know where you got it from. Uh, if you got an Amazon storefront or whatever, I'll go. So, um, I don't know y'all know where to find me. It looks like I'm going to have to put already another piece of glue stick in, which is kind of weird. But let's go for it. Let's see. See, it drips if I'm not pushing it. I'm going to try to do it from down here. And I'm going to just keep on pushing it. Alright, so you get these kind of drips. So I'm going to do all four of these. If I decide to use... Um, an open flame I'll let you know but I'm really trying not to do that so I'll be back so my first piece is done that's how it's supposed to look I'm gonna finish these other ones because this is taking some time and when they're dry I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna spray them no, uh, spray them but I'm not gonna do the back side I'm just only gonna do the front side for now I might do the back side. I'll, I'll hit y'all back up. Here we are. They are fully dried. I'm on my porch. And I've got three colors of spray paint. Two of them I'm going to do purple. One white, one green. And um, so the two... Well, I've got to see how I'm setting them up. Okay, so the longest one is going to be the very back one. Okay, so the back two... I just gotta see which one's gonna be kind of like the middle one. But two are gonna be white. And um, I guess it'll figure it out by itself. And, and one of them's gonna be green. And one's gonna be purple. So I'm just using uh, some baking sheet paper to keep it from sticking. Because it looks like that's what they'll probably wanna do. And I'm gonna use this to separate. I'm going to. Um, Let's go ahead and I wanted to do two whites. So I'm going to do this bottom one white and the back tallest one white. Yep, that's what I think I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead. These are $6 at Walmart. And let's go ahead. So this is a matte white. We're gonna go ahead and get the dripping part done. Mm. I'm going to put the camera over here so you can see it differently.
I'll be right back. Um, here is the first one. The second one's laying here to dry. The tall white one. I'm going to work on the green and the purple and then we'll be back. Self wear gloves. Okay, so after I painted them, um, I decorated them. So my theme is the Beetlejuice thing slash Nightmare Before Christmas. There's my little zero. And I don't know why, but I thought the beads were kind of cool to put them on. So I put those two beads on and some duct tape for the Beetlejuice snake effect. And there is a Beetlejuice pin that I've had for a few years. And I'm not finished. I've got, um, I, these two are together and these three here to get them together. Um, I have, um, I'm waiting for the glue to dry and then I still have to decorate. I got some other little things I want to put with it, but this is the Halloween edition. So here's the centerpiece. Thanks to Timu out of 12 candles, only three really worked, mm -hmm. but, um, this is a, Tim Burton inspired one and um, I think it turned out pretty great could have gotten a little closer together right there but these uh, flowers go all the way around and um, there's my zero and my my beetle juice and um, <clears throat> I got these from Batty Beauty Boutique and um, anyways they are, they're hand, handmade, so. <clears throat> Anyways, what do you guys think? I have more ideas for Thanksgiving. <laughs>